Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Odds are that you clicked on this video because you're either buying a Mark 6 GTI or because you just recently bought a Mark 6 GTI and you want to see how it is. Well, in this video, I'm going to be going over the good, the bad, and where I went wrong with my Mark 6 GTI. But for those who have already been subscribed to my channel, you know that we start off the video with the cold start. Alright, so for those of you that are new to my channel or just haven't heard about my Volkswagen in general, I actually bought my Volkswagen in my senior year of high school in 2019. I am now a senior in college and I've done a little bit of work to the Volkswagen. So like I mentioned before, we're going to go over like the good, the bad and what I went wrong with on this car. You guys can already tell the camera's shaking. My car is clearly modified. Um, I did purchase the car stock. It was stock pretty much when I bought the car. Um, shortly after I, I modified it, within less than a year of actually owning the car. Um, I pretty much stopped modifying it after like two years. Um, nothing crazy is actually done to it though. So it's not like I have a wide body Mark VI you know, GTI. No, it's not the case. So right now, I'm just pretty much going to an area where I can give you guys a full walk around of my car. So this, guys, is my Mark VI GTI. Alright guys, so this car does have 82,000 miles, which isn't bad for a car that's almost like 10, 11 years old. Um, so in that case, it's not that bad. Um, again, like I told you guys, obviously it's not stock. Within like maybe like 3, 4 months of me buying the car, I actually got the wheels and suspension done. Um, these are actually Avant Garde M220 wheels. Um, yeah, without me having at least like half a year of ownership with the car, I already decided to lower it and put wheels on it because I honestly didn't like how the stock body looked. In my opinion, the car is good. If you want a small, quick car, the Volkswagen is the one for you. It's it's pretty small, it's compact, but you know, it has the potential. Um, if you want to tune it, it, it has the potential to, you know, reach those limits that you want it to reach. I actually have the DSG edition, so it's not really manual like you guys saw on the edit but i do have the sports mode option as well as the panel shifters on the wheel honestly don't mind the dsg transmission um whenever you do have it in the sport mode um it does have a more burble effect um when you shift on the exhaust so i do like that so overall the car is a pretty good car if you want to go quick if you want to get into modifying cars it's simple, it's clean, it's a well-built car. Now, a couple downsides on my Volkswagen, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the headlights are completely fogged up. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like inner, this is all like inside the actual headlight. Um, I've tried everything to get that off. My only next option is probably to sand it down. Um, but again, if it's in the inside, sanding it down is really not gonna do much. And it's pretty much the same on on both headlights it's kind of annoying but yeah um that is the only oh wait no that's not the only issue i've also had to replace the turbo on this car um my turbo kind of gave me a couple issues i think like a year and a half two years in so i did have to replace the turbo on this car i'll actually pop the engine for you guys there's nothing crazy done to the engine i haven't modified anything in the engine but i did get a new turbo
I did get a new turbo, um, but other than that, engine is pretty much stock. The only thing I had an issue with in here, other than the turbo, was the like the window washer fluid, the hose. I had to. The other one snapped. I bought a new one, but that one isn't quite like the exact size. I guess I bought it for the Mark Six GTI, but apparently it's not the same exact size. So the fitting is not 100% on that thing. But other than that, that's the only real issues I had in like the engine area. It was just like the turbo swap that I had to do. Not swap, I just replaced it for another exact same turbo. Um, one thing that I do want to talk about, which is why I mentioned the good, the bad, and where I went wrong. But again, I wouldn't really consider it going wrong. It's just a heads up to you guys. If you ever do plan on lowering your car like I did, I lowered it about like two or three inches. So if you, if you guys can see... You can't really stick your fingers through unless you like put them upwards straight through. You can't put them through. Same thing with like the back side of the car. Your fingers have to go up. They can't go straight through. So it is relatively low. Um, and being that I do live in Jersey, the land of the potholes, it is not an easy task for me to do day on day. Lowering my car has caused significant damage to it. Um, as you guys can see, I uh, had a bit of like a fender issue because when I actually turn any sharp turn that I'm going above like a, a ramp or something the, the the tire actually hits the fender it, it has fender rub so again that causes that the rear I really don't have any issues with like fender rub and stuff because obviously those wheels don't really turn um, this wheel doesn't really have any issues I did cave one of my front wheels on a pothole once but uh, my dad fixed it with a 2x4 and a rubber mallet. Don't ask me how, but he did. The main issue when it comes to lowering your car is your front bumper. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my front bumper is pretty roughed up. Everywhere along the front bumper, we have like these massive chips. Look at that thing. Massive chips, just like sometimes even chunks of like the bumper missing. So the bumper is pretty much like destroyed, right? Like there's no saving this bumper. That is the only downside or one of the downsides actually. Cause lowering your car, obviously it improves like the uh, stability and the, the handling of the car. But if you lower it too much like I did, you're gonna end up having issues like that. And I'm not even low compared to some people that I've seen in Jersey. Some of these people that you've seen on my channel are way lower than me. The last issue that I want to talk about also came from lowering my car. So since the weather here in Jersey is the worst weather you can ever possibly ask for, and my car being low, rust builds up on the bottom part of my car. And since I'm low and I scrape on literally everything, I, it causes my exhaust to like hit on certain areas of like the ground, speed bumps, ramps, whatever the case may be. My exhaust would constantly hit, and since it was rusted, it kind of just ended up like, just, it, it just exploded pretty much, like it, it pretty much just ripped because of the fact that it was rusted and it was scraping. So, obviously I had to, you know, I bought a new exhaust, this is actually a Rev9 uh, catback um, muffler delete exhaust, so it, it, it sounds a little bit louder than a stock exhaust, not a little, it sounds way louder than a stock exhaust, but that unfortunately had to be done because obviously i decided to lower my car so my exhaust you know pretty much exploded um but yeah guys that's pretty much like you know my review on the car would i buy another volkswagen of course would i modify it the same way probably personally for me i love my mark 6 volkswagen I, if anyone comes to me asking if they should buy one i think they should uh for the price that they are um at least when i bought it it's a pretty good price for a car that, you know, is pretty quick. It's pretty simple and easy to modify, and it looks good. On that note, I, I know I mentioned the exhaust, but I'm, I actually am going to give you guys, like, a sound, a sound test of the exhaust before I take off, before I end the video.
if you guys are looking to buy a Volkswagen, specifically a Mark 6 GTI, do it. I've had mine for four years, and I've modified it, which a lot of people don't recommend modifying a car if you want it to be reliable. I, on the other hand, modified my car, continue to use it as a daily. I drive my car every day, guys. Every day. I put miles on my car every day, okay? And it's modified, and I can tell you one thing, it is reliable. My, my Mark 6 GTI is reliable. If you guys are wondering whether or not you should buy it, whether it's in terms of just buying it to keep it stock and having a pretty quick car, or if you want to buy it to modify it, I suggest you do it. I would support 100%. I love this car. I love how it drives. I love how it handles. I love everything about this car. And before I end the video, if any of you guys in the comments own a Mark 6 GTI or even a Mark 7, a Mark 5, please leave a comment on how you feel about your Volkswagen, your GTI. If you feel the same way, if there's some issues that your car has that you want to specify in the comments for other people to see. And on that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.